All right, yo, 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 what's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Los. What's going on with y'all? It's your boy, J.O. And we got another special guest for y'all. We got one of the top point guards in the country. Number 17 player, Kiyomi McMiller. Best handles in the country, I think. Uh, Los, what you, you saying? You got the best handles in the country? I'm going either way. Boy, men's, women, best handle by far. That I was watching, I was watching another highlight tape today. I was like, yeah, she's crazy. She crazy. She crazy. <laughs> It's, it's crazy. A lot of the times when I'm doing my videos, like I'll just see something and it'll just inspire me to do a, uh, do a video. So I was just on Instagram one time and I saw your highlights and I, was, I just stopped everything I was doing. I was like, yeah, Los, I, I seen this girl. I was like, bro, I was like, I never seen nothing like this in my life, bro. I got to do a video. Stopped everything I did. Made that video. That's one of our biggest videos on our page. So we really appreciate you. I think it's at like 4.2 million right now. So shout you out. <laughs> Handles, man. Everybody was loving it. So we really appreciate it. Uh, for sure. Thank you. Thank you. So, yeah, so we want to start it off just a quick question, something that's not, you know, basketball related. What's something about you that people uh, just don't know about you that's outside of basketball? Uh, So I have four younger siblings. I don't like unless you like really know me, I'm not really going to say much about like, you know, my life and everything. So, yeah. Four, four, OK, so you're the oldest. Yeah, I'm the oldest. Hey, they got a good role model. though. They got a good role model. <laughs> So, so do your siblings like? Are, do they get on your nerves or like they y'all all, all kind of cool? I mean, we all we all pretty cool. We all pretty cool. We all Jail, like hanging out. Jail, you got a younger sister. You know they get on your nerves too. Don't do that. <laughs> she going she's gonna give like, the right yeah. answer, but you know yeah, how it nah. go. Come on, man. I know exactly how it goes. I was the older brother, and my little sister got. She used to get on my nerves just to do it. Like it was, <laughs> it was just it was her daily activity. Like, how can I piss him off today? But that's yeah, so. that's what my sisters do do that though. They'll like come my room and just be like, "What you doing?" Like, <laughs> like literally nothing. No reason. They just get bored and they just want to. They want to see what you got going. <laughs> so yeah. So uh, I want to get back to basketball real quick. So if you could go one on one with any player, all time, men's, women's, anybody, anybody, it could be a basketball player, non basketball player, just a cool matchup for you one on one. Who would that be? Uh. I would have to say uh, I got, like, four different players that I would love to play against, like Michael Jordan, Dr. J, Kyrie, uh, and KD. Like, they're they're my favorite players, so I would want to play any one of them one-on-one. Oh, no, I would play anybody, really, but, like uh, – Oh, we I'll know. We know. We see you. <laughs> we know. We know. <laughs> All the time, I definitely want to play those four. So, so you said you said KD and Kyrie. So, do you you, you like those players because of their skills, like just just how how they approach the game? Um, so I take it a little bit from all four of them. So, like Michael Jordan, K, Michael Jordan, KD, Kyrie, Dr. J. Like, they're all of all time. They're my four like favorite players. Like Kyrie, I think that's like pretty self explanatory why I like him. But uh, KD, he's from my area. Um, and he's just someone that I kind of like. I take like little things from him, and and he has like that style that we have back home. So it's like you know someone I can like connect to a little bit. And then Michael Jordan, and Dr. J, those are just they're like the two best of all time. So yes, yeah, self-explanatory there. I like that. I like that. So when when you was growing up, what age did you know? Like all right. I'm kind of nice. Like I, I feel like I'm, I'm different out here. Like, what, what, what age did that hit you? Uh, I guess I could say like first, second grade, because at that time I think I was playing, I think eighth grade. My team was my team was probably seventh, sixth, seventh grade, and we were playing. They were playing up one, two years, and I was, of course, I was playing up. Like you played up six years. Yeah, seven, six years. So it's like, look, and you can, like, really tell the difference between, like, me and the people they say is better than me. Like, even at that time, I'm, like, getting double teamed. And I'm, like, literally the smallest on the court. Like, this, <laughs> it's like, why are y'all double teaming this this little kid? But there's obviously a reason why. So I would have been so mad if I was the eighth grader. <laughs> and I got this second grader out here busting me. Oh, no. <laughs> Easy though. Just think about that. Like, think about what the difference in size is. Like, in the first and second grade, you're a really little kid compared to an eighth grader. Like, there's some, eighth grade, there's some eighth graders that look like adults. Like, yeah. <laughs> you feel me? Like, that's really crazy. So, yeah. 
I, I that would definitely I, if I was hooping against those type of players and I was really getting buckets, I would definitely think like, yeah, I'm I'm kind of tough. Like, oh, I wouldn't think I would. I, like she said, I, I, that's what she knew. That's what she knew. Yeah. When she when, when she was. I mean, so when I was young, I'm like a very, I still am like a very like humble person. Like when people say like, oh, you did all this, like you're so good. Like my, it's so funny because my friends will tell me like you're like basically famous, right? I'm like, uh. I, I guess you could say that, but not really. But <laughs> nah, nah, you kind of be... famous. It might not feel like it. Yeah, you kind of famous. Like you nah, I, I guess keep oh, keep yeah. keep that same humbleness to you. Keep that same humbleness to you. Yeah, nah, I'm not gonna lie. Like I get on Instagram and I just see like different events, and you just be at it. So it's like I feel like you. <laughs> like, you kind of big. That's true. <laughs> I wouldn't like come out and say like I'm nice. I would say I'm confident. I wouldn't like. I feel like saying like certain things it just kind of says like you're cocky, and like that's definitely not how I am. A lot of people might think I am, but if you get to know me, it's like it's totally different. It's it's because the game cocky. The game you don't say nothing, <laughs> but the game cocky. <laughs> For sure, and I think you have like a certain swag about your game. Like people just might think like, oh, she she, she thinks she's the, uh, the stuff. Like she really thinks she's the best out here. But like, it's just how you play. It's just like, you know, you just go out there and kill. So there's nothing wrong with that. Hey, it is what it is. Like, <laughs> so growing up, did you play any other sports besides basketball? No, if I played any other sport, it was like for fun. And just for that year, like middle school, I tried soccer. That was, that was something. <laughs> uh, I ran track one time. I did cross country. Uh, but it was never like anything serious. Basketball has been like my whole life. Gotcha. It's, it's, it's funny you say that. Me and Jo, we went to college together, and uh, we played on an intramural soccer team, <laughs> and it was the <laughs> hardest sport I ever played in my life. <laughs> it's like watching them. It's like you can watch the game, and you'll think it's like so easy. It's yeah. not. I was the one that had to score the goals. It was not easy. <laughs> I kept missing. It was. <laughs> So, yeah. So, hey, I got a, uh, another question outside of basketball. So let's just say you get stranded on an island, right? Mm -hmm. You only have three things with you. What would those three things be? Now, now I'm going to preface this. You have food and water. So just say you got, you, you know, you got a little machete. You can get you some coconuts and catch you some <laughs> fish out there. And you got a little water purifier. So now three, now three things besides food and water. Three things. Well, first. I'll bring like a book of like, actually no, I'll just bring like a regular book. I'll bring a book, I'd like to read a little bit. Okay, okay. Uh, I'll bring a ball, obviously. And then I I'll bring a phone that could come and get me off that <laughs> island. <laughs> I would not want to stay there. All right, so you said you like to read a little bit. Do you have any, what's your favorite genre of book? Uh, I don't really read anything. Okay. Like I'm reading a book right now. It's, I think it's called like functional adult something something. It's it's a funny book, but okay, okay. So, so, I, which I love to read though. I really do. Cool. That's what's up. Are That's you one of those up. people that would rather would you rather read than like see the movie? No, <laughs> <laughs> no. It's like two whole different stories. I got. Hey, only someone that reads the books knows that though, because you're absolutely right. If, when you go see a movie and you've read the book, you get to the movies, you'd be like. This ain't this ain't how the book went. So no, it's not. It's nah, like right. story. Like I read, like the whole Alice in the Wonderland, like like OG story. Oh. And then you watch the movie. It's like that. Yeah. It's like small details, but it's like the details matter. Oh, for sure, like, it definitely matter. Okay, so I like. I really think that going to the next level, whoever gets you is gonna get. They're gonna get a superstar player. They're gonna get somebody who's a real game changer um, on both ends of the floor. What do you think that you bring to a team at the next level, or what will you bring to a team at the next level? Um, I'll definitely bring like my creativity and definitely my scoring ability because not everyone can score like how I do. Um, and it doesn't really matter like what school I go to, I'll most likely be like one of the better players. Like, you're bringing me there to score, so I'll probably be like the first option to be scoring. So I definitely, that's mainly what I bring. And she, and she brought up the schools, Jay. She brought up the schools. She brought up the schools. So, you know, we got we to gotta tap into that real quick. <laughs> I saw that you narrowed your list down to 10. 
Um, what what separated those? Hold on, schools? hold on, hold on, hold on. Before we get down to the ten, she okay. narrowed it down to twenty a few weeks ago, <laughs> and Syracuse was in there. I'm a diehard Syracuse fan, so when I see Cuse was in there, I was like, okay, okay. Like well, right now, Lois, you gotta talk to her hey, about the Cuse. Man, I was like, you know what? She gonna be the she gonna be the the women's mellow. That's what I was thinking. She gonna come there, she gonna get us a national championship. We gonna be straight. I saw the top yeah. ten. I said, man, come on. <laughs> they didn't make the cut, bro. I don't know what to tell you. Like, I, Obviously, they didn't make the cut, but I'm saying I was hurt when I seen that. So, but go ahead, go ahead, give give me your question. I would, I just wanted to put my my two cents in. Like, <laughs> a lot, of, a lot of hurt fans out there, man. A lot of hurt fans out there. I had that. Yeah. So, you, so you narrowed your list down to ten. Um, what was it about those ten schools that separated themselves to make that list? Uh, so before I even like answer the question, I just want to say one thing about schools. Okay, go ahead. Um, people always like they'll come in the comments of my videos and they'll be like, "Why is South Carolina not in there?" Like Don would love you go to South Carolina, or they'll be like, "Oh, why is Maryland not in the top ten? Or I don't, what's another school like UConn? First of all, South Carolina and Maryland did not even recruit me. So that's crazy. That really- Mar- Maryland, especially Maryland. Like- that's that's the worst one because I used to live there. Like I literally, I, actually, I lived both places, but I lived at like Maryland's where I'm from. Mm-hmm. That's like the worst one. But they didn't recruit me, so it's like nothing really I can I can say about that. And why would I want to go to a school like the team's already made? Why would I want to go to a school just just to go? Like that's not no one's competing. Nah. So and then UConn, they did recruit me, but that's I want to beat them. I like, like that. I like that. Okay. Like, I've okay. always, I've always said that too. Like when I was younger, I was like UConn. Like Gino, he's an amazing coach, but I just, I would rather beat him than go and join his stack team. No, nah, so. I agree. I agree. Oh, no. I, 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 I like that mindset for sure. I really do like that mindset. Maryland, Maryland lost a good ones. You know, South Carolina. I'm gonna give him a pass because you know you, but you from Maryland, like you said, you from Maryland. So that's yeah. what I'm like. Top twenty player in the country, arguably top ten, depending on who you ask. Like, where that <laughs> offer at? Where that offer at? So now nah, I'm I'm right there with you on that. It's safe to say that with the ten schools that you have chose, that 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 is something that's important to you is being able to show off your creativity and be a leader at wherever you go. Yeah, like all the schools that I picked that are in my top ten, it's all schools I trust, and mm-hmm. they actually fit. I think. The style they play, I would actually fit with the with that team. Like yeah. South Carolina, I wouldn't like. I really hate when people say you should go to South Carolina because, like, if you I watch I've watched them play, and I've I've watched the the other schools that they say I could go, I could go to. Like, do they really believe I'll fit that style? Like, it's ridiculous how you have a guard that won't even she's being let wide open for threes, and no one's guarding her. Like that's that can um, hey, that's me. You look at you looking at that like that's food. I'm about to eat out here. <laughs> exactly. Like I'm, I'm shooting that. Like there's I'm not. This that style is just I I couldn't play like that. Like the schools I picked, I picked for a reason, and I could see myself actually playing at all those schools. Hey Kiyomi, hey Kiyomi, want to smoke? I'm letting everybody know now. <laughs> Kiyomi want to smoke the way she, oh, I like it. <laughs> What was cool about Kiyomi's game is that I feel like her game is gonna is gonna bring the fans. Like I think that wherever she goes, the fans are gonna follow just because she has a game that is exciting. It's exciting to watch. It's very creative, and I want to see her at a program that's gonna bring out that creativity, not a, you know a program that's gonna stymie that creativity and not let her be her full self. Um, kind of like uh, I hate to you know, compare players, but kind of like how Caitlin Clark is at Iowa, where they just let her kind of do her. And the offense is kind of like, you know, we're going to figure out what we're going to do around how good she is. And I feel like that level of good where wherever she goes, the offense should be, you know, built towards making her creativity, you know, be shaken. Hey, you said that name. All I saw in Kiyomi's eyes was clamp. That ain't happening. Over- hey, I saw her eyes. But that ain't happening look, over here. I I'm, I'm not, look, no you comparison. I'm just said, saying. Yeah, okay. No comparison. Okay. Just the offensive style of freedom, you know. 
Yomi needs, like, 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 needs to be free out there. Yomi, she needs to be free out there. That's all I'm saying. Oh, man. So do you have um, a set date as to where you're going to narrow it down even further, or is it just kind of play it by ear? Uh, no, not a set date but right now. So when you were growing up um, and you were a little kid, you said that Dr. J and Michael Jordan were your inspirations growing up? Definitely. Michael Jordan was already, like, talked about in the house like all the time because that's my dad's favorite player as well okay so the it was someone i always looked up to and it's like his mindset is kind of what i like went off of because if i want to be great then you know he's the best (laughs) so it's like that that mentality yeah and then dr j i kind of like not stumbled upon him but Cause my parents told me about it. Like they told, they taught me about all the older players, but they didn't really, I guess, get in depth about them. If that makes any yeah. sense. So it, it was like one day I was in my room, and I'm like just you know just scrolling through the TV, yeah. and I see a documentary on this dude that plays. So I'm just like, oh, this is interesting. I like to sit here and watch it. I'm like in elementary school, so I like don't know what I'm doing. I'm just like, oh, something's on TV, so I'm watching, and like. After that documentary, I was like, he's my favorite. I'll, he's that's this is the guy. And yeah. then, a lot of people don't, a lot of people, you know, I can obviously tell you're a historian of the game. A lot of people don't realize Michael Jordan was heavily influenced by Dr. J. Exactly. So, now nah, that's 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 dope how you put that together without even really knowing that. Yeah. But, yeah, now nah, that's 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 dope. And like you said, Michael Jordan was getting compared to Dr. J when he was coming up, so mm-hmm. that's, that's- like both of those players. Um, so we see you got the like like my boy Lo said, you see you got the fire purple Jordan uh you know hoodie on right. Is that now. is that purple or blue? Is that purple or blue? I think it's like some people will say it's purple because like a uh, we gonna, we gonna go indigo. We're gonna go indigo. Indigo, there we go. Yeah. yeah. I got I, I got I have a two year old daughter, we're working on colors now, so that's how I <laughs> that's, how, that's how that's how I peeped that. That is for sure purple. Purple. I don't know what y'all are talking about. That's for sure purple. Um, <laughs> like I was saying, you got the the nice little hoodie on. So, um, what was it, what was it like when uh, you got that call from Jordan? Did they call you? Like, how did that all how did that all get set up? Uh, they just reached out on Instagram, and I gave them my number, and they got in contact with my parents, and that was that was it from there. Hey, she saw she saw that saw that DM. She said, "Hold up." Hold on. Hey, did you hey, hey. Look, she grabbed the phone. She said, "Hold on, let me go get my pops." Hey, right? Like, I, got, I did not think it was real. I did it. That's what I was gonna say. I would have been like, "Bro, I don't even think this is real. There's no way." Like, I, I don't believe that this is this is mom, not dad. Real. I just did something. Here, you t- hey, you take the phone because I don't even know what to do from here. Talking about they, from, they, they talking about they from Jordan. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Somebody started to talk to these people, but no, nah, yeah, that's crazy. So they just reached out to you on Instagram. Yeah, yeah. Man. And right now you're the only are you the only high school girl that signed with Jordan, right? Yeah, I'm the first no high school athlete, just period. Period. Yep. High school yeah. athlete. Period. Yeah, my my bad. That's I right. saw I saw that they signed a I think it was a freshman or sophomore at UCLA. Um Yeah, that's Kiki. So she's from the same area. I'm, she's from DC. I'm from like DMV Maryland part. So we're both like from. We actually we used to play together, so that's crazy. Play, that, play together and against each other. That's crazy. That's crazy. Now I was I was I was reading an article a couple weeks ago, and it was like you're the only high school athlete to ever sign the jewelry. Mm-hmm. And I was like, that's crazy. Yeah. See, look, like like stuff like that speaks for itself. It's like you don't even gotta like act cocky or nothing. You, yeah, I'm the only one signing the Jordan. It is what it is. Like that's a fact. Like the truth, the truth can't hurt nobody feelings. That's just the truth. That's that's crazy though. So, do you have a favorite Jordan of all time? Uh, I would say. So, I'm, I'm gonna say the Midnight Jordan Navy Blue Elevens. I really, okay. I really like those. Like those could like go kind of with everything not but sure. it definitely could change throughout the week i'm not even gonna lie <laughs> like, so, so so how how it work you'd be like ah you know i want a pair of 13s let me, let me i want a pair of 12s let me go ahead and hit them real quick like i, I can get these or, or, or what, hey michael hey, hey michael what you doing mike <laughs> I, 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 I mean like i guess i could but that's hard you didn't say no more like, that's no it. point <laughs> 
<laughs> That's dope. Have you have you gotten a chance to to meet Michael Jordan? No, not yet, but okay. it's really soon. And I, I know his uh daughter works closely with the with the women's side, correct? Mm-hmm. She's actually she's my rep. That's oh wow. Okay, yeah. that's really cool. Yeah, that's really cool. Okay, okay. So what what is something that you think that other people um think about your basketball game? Uh, I'm gonna say positive and negative because there's Ooh, okay. a lot of I like, negative. I like that. I like that. Oh, you but that. uh, positively they'll say that it's different, something they've never seen before. Uh, it's like my game is like game changing. It is di- like creative. Uh, negatively, they'll say I'll dribble too much. Uh, I don't pass. Uh, I'm showboating. I'm doing extra, and it's like you're. No one plays the same. I'm gonna say that no one plays the same. And what like we could do? It can be two. Two different players. They can do the same, like be the same position, and do and score these both scores, but they're not going to score the exact same way. Mm-hmm. And this is just my way of scoring. This is my way of of playing. So it's like I'm not doing the certain moves to like show off. I'm just doing it to win, like to score. It, this is the easiest way for me. Now, however it is for you, that's great. This is how I do it. Like it's not. I I don't know. It's just this is how this is how I play. This is how it's easier for me. Yeah, and I think I mean, like you said, you just play different. So people people are always afraid of seeing something different that they've never seen. And the first thing yeah. that they're gonna do is try to you know hate on it or bring it down just because they've never seen it before. But I think, like I said, I think you're really gonna change the game for a lot of girls. Um, I think there's a lot of people that are gonna look up to how you play, and I think that going forward, you're gonna see a lot of you know players that do similar stuff and, you know, show off their creativity more and more. Um, I would say that people that actually do stuff that's similar to me is like, actually I did. There was one negative thing I should have said first. I forgot about it, but they'll say that I I have bad shot selection. (laughs) Steph, Dame and Caitlin Clark. Do they have bad shot selection? I'm nope, doing the same exact nope. thing they're doing. You right? You right? Like they have great shot selection, but when I do it, I it's a problem. But we're doing the you're same, like shots. similar things. So I would, I would say that that's like you're making shots is never a bad shot. If you make it, it is. <laughs> like ahead. if I practice it, it's not a bad shot. It's something okay. I practice. If yeah. I just came out and did something crazy that I've never practiced or done before, then okay. But everything I'm doing in the game. I've done a practice. Nah, for sure. People, they 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 not there when you putting them hours of work in, so they they don't see all the the time that you putting in to uh, do do all the the crazy crossovers, the deep threes, all that stuff. You know what I'm saying? We yeah. we know you put we you put all them hours in, so go ahead, you know, highlight, show off your game, do what you do. All the haters come out. For sure. My uh my last question for you, Kiyomi, is, um, what would you say to a young girl? Or what message would you give to a young girl that wants to be just like Kiyomi McMiller or be the next Kiyomi McMiller? Uh, I would first say, don't try to be like me. Be like yourself. Ooh, <laughs> That's okay. what I would say first. Be I like am yourself. not a role model. I am not a role model. I'm just <laughs> messing with you. I'm just messing with you. <laughs> uh, but if you want to play freely like how I do, yes, be creative. Think outside the box. Just be your, don't be like anybody else. Like you're special and you can do what you can do. Just be different. That's all. That's all I always say. Be different. I like that. And you know, like I said, I got a two year old. So we was actually, because uh, I got her little tykes hoop. So she'd be going up, she'd be dunking the ball and stuff <laughs> like that. But a couple of weeks ago, I was like, hey, go ahead, put on the Kiyomi Miller highlights. My wife was like, who? I was like, give me the remote. So I put in the Kiyomi Miller highlights on YouTube. And we sat there. It was like 9 in the morning. She got her bottle of milk. And we sitting there watching your highlights on TV. Oh. And I'm like, this is who we watching right now. So, hey, lock in, lock in. But, you know, <laughs> I, I give her that ball. She go dunk it. So she already know. But you are definitely, definitely an inspiration to a lot of people you don't even know. So. Kiyomi, we really appreciate your time. Um, like I said, we had one of the best uh, high school hoopers in the nation sit down with us, chop it up with SSN, go check her out. Um, Kiyomi, you want to drop your Instagram or anything like that? 
Uh, it's my first and last name, Hyo McMiller32 at. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I said it wrong. It's okay. He said at. Yeah. <laughs> Go ahead, check her out on IG. Kill me, Mick Miller, thirty-two, one of the best ballers in the country. Um, like I said, SSN. If we had a vote, she'd be number one. Uh, we gotta, we gotta talk to them people. I don't know how we got to seventeen. I don't. They must not be able to add, but it's all good. We appreciate you uh, taking your time out of your day to uh, tap in with us. Uh, it's been another one here with your boys here on SSN for my boy Los. This is your boy Jo, and just like that, we out. Hey, we out.